Attention all cougars and staff, the annual car show is coming up this Saturday here at Half Moon Bay High School. There will be a raffle, some great food, and of course lots of old cars. The gates open at 11 a.m. Wellness week is next week, March 12th through 16. Be sure to get your self-care on during lunch. Monday kicks off the week with art therapy in room D5. Come de-stress with us. And now here's Mr. Barnes with his weekly report. Hi Cougars. Just had a question for you, something you may not or never have thought about. We practice drills all year long, fire drills, earthquake drills, lockdown drills. But what would we do if we called a lockdown drill or if there was a lockdown and y'all were outside, like it was break or something like that. Nobody's in classes, everybody's out and about, all over the place. What would you do? It's a good question. What we would want you to do, if you could, if you're near your next period class, whatever class you've got after brunch, go there. If that doesn't work because you're far away, or maybe the classroom's locked and the teacher's not there, go to the first available classroom or building you can find. And if you're far away, if you're out in a sports field, don't run into danger, stay out. You could run for the hills if you wanted to. Uh, the idea is to stay away from danger, find the closest place you can be in, and stay there and stay safe. So if that happens, and we ever call a lockdown during a break, try to get to your class first, your next class, and failing that, next available building. And if you're far away on the edges of campus, you can run away. Okay, take care, have a good day. Oh, the HMBHS Spring Musical Disney's The Little Mermaid opens Friday, March 16th and runs for two weekends. Showtimes are 7 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays, and 2 p.m. on Sunday. Student tickets are $10, and reserved seating can be purchased online or at the door. We hope to see you at the show. Hey seniors, have you bought your grad night ticket yet? If not, make sure you do so before March 31st, as that is when the prices will increase from 60 to 75. We want all seniors to attend this fun event, so if you need financial assistance, Please see Ms. Acosta in the front office before March 29th to make financial arrangements. Please note, March 29th is the last day you can request financial assistance for grad night. You can go to hmbhsgradnight.com for more details and to purchase your tickets online, or you can pick the, up a form from Ms. Acosta in the front office and return to her filled out and with cash or check payment. A grad night rep will also be on campus outside the MU room during break on Wednesdays in March to answer questions and or to take payment. Past alumni have said that this night is one of the most memorable and special nights during high school. It is a night full of games, food, music, dancing, surprise events, and over 8,000 of prizes to be won. So make sure you don't miss out. Buy your tickets today. Seniors, the yearbook has room for only four more $25 tributes. Hurry and students, it's not too late to get in the yearbook. We still need job pictures and proposal pictures. Seniors, buy your senior picnic tickets for Great America. Ticket sales go up on March 29th. See Ms. Acosta or class officers for more information. It's time to get ready for lunch, Cougars. Here's what's on the lunch menu today at the cafeteria. Cheese pizza and pepperoni pizza. Now here's Joe with sports. Oh yeah! The varsity softball team beat Aragon 14-1. Grace Garcia tossed a complete game with seven strikeouts at the plate. Lily Moffitt was 3-for-5 with a double. Abby Claudius had a grand slam, a triple, a single, and six RBIs. Chloe Moffitt and Genevieve Belmonte each hit home runs. Congratulations to the members of the track and field team for great performances at their, meet, at their first meet of the season. There were many outstanding performances. Some top performers were Claire Yerby winning the Frosh Soft 1600 and 800, setting meet records in both events. Her times in both events would have won the varsity races. She ran 522 in the 1600 and 224 in the 800. <coughs> Bobby Lester won the Frosh Soft shot put and finished second in the discus throw. He set a meet record in the shot put in the process as well. Sean Fitzgerald finished second in the 400 and teamed with James McKeek in 
Jared Mansukani and Cole Wilkinson to take third in two relay events. Cole also clipped Jared to win their heat of the 800. Great job, Cougars. There is still time to join the team. Practices are Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. Early release, JV Baseball, 1.30. Varsity Baseball, 2.15. Varsity Swim, 2.30. JV Swim, 2.30. Now here's Mr. Olson with the Daily Trivia. Happy Friday out there, Half Moon Bay High School. The answer to yesterday's question about Heinz Ketchup, the 57 represents the 57 varieties of pickles that Heinz sold before they went into the ketchup business. We congratulate Mr. Hoskins and uh, his class. They were the fastest answer, and thanks to Miss Stubbs for sending them the question. Hey, did you know that one week from tonight, it's the debut, the opening of The Little Mermaid, so we're going to have a trivia question or two about The Little Mermaid. In fact, we'll have one today, a question sent in from Mr. Ward. Again, check out Little Mermaid next Friday. It opens right here in our theater in the MU at Half Moon Bay High School. And watch your email for the question from me. Have a great weekend, Cougars.